Hello my friends, Walter here. We're tankering on the porch today. Thought I'd show you a little something here. I have here a tree. Well, it was a tree at one time. Cut it down about two years ago. I've been letting it dry out. It was a green wood. When I get through with it, it's going to be a walking stick. And it's dry enough that I could start whittling on it, but it's, that's be a, but that'll be a long time project. In the meantime, I need to shorten this booger up a little bit. When I put it away to dry, I hope the camera is focusing on that. I coated both ends with wax so it wouldn't split as it dries out. But I left this too long and it's got some crookedness I need to take out of it anyway. We're going to saw it off right about here. Uh, got this old keyhole saw here. I don't feel like going out and dragging a power saw or a big hand saw. No more cutting I'm going to do right here. We can do it with the keyhole saw in short order. First of all, this, we can always shorten it some more, but we can't make it longer. Right here where it starts curving back straight. That feels like it'd be right, about the right length. We're going to saw that booger off right there. Let's get this booger sawed too and let's see what it feels like. Definitely not wet wood anymore, it's dry. This walking stick can be a long time project. Be steel stick. remember what kind of wood this is. I don't know if it was dogwood or it don't look like oak. I'm gonna say it was a piece of dogwood. I've got these little notches on where the limbs were on the tree. All I did with it so far was just trim off the bark to let it dry back when it was green. The bark's easy to get off when it's green. Alright let's see what it feels. Oh yeah. Still plenty long. On this end here, I thought I might carve like a wood spirit or a figurine or something in the big part here. I'm not a great wood carver, but we've got plenty of time on our hands. A little sandpaper, smooth it up. Take off these little notches where the limbs were to start with, where it won't hurt your hand. I can actually start using this stick as a walking stick. When I'm out walking or whatever, I'll get to where I need some help with a walking stick these days anyway. Give me a rubber tip to put on the end of this booger and it looks like I need to shorten it another oh, five or six inches. That would be something to keep me busy in the summer, sitting out here in a rocking chair, whittling away. And it's dry enough that I can start using it as a walking stick now. Thanks for watching my friends. If you like my videos, take the time to let YouTube know and reach up there and click the like button. I know I'll appreciate it.